It's 88.5, the SoCal Sound, and uh, usually I'm here in the mornings. I'm Nick Harcourt, but I'm here in the afternoons back for another bash at it. So before we do anything, I do want to let you know that we are still fundraising and looking for your support at 833-885-8850. You can also do it at the SoCalSound.org. And, uh, well, I've got the I've got the Walsh gang in, in the studio with me this afternoon. Hi, Nick. How are you? Oh, I don't know yet. Well, we'll see how we'll see how it goes. I don't usually know until about five. Yeah, you're up early. Um, but but we we got the family here. We got Christian here. We got Marjorie here this as well. This is my wife, Marjorie. Yep. And my son. How do you do? How do you do? Uh, We're happy see. to be here. Yeah, that's Christian as well. So, hey, listen, we got a few things to talk about here. Um, we're going to talk about Vets Aid. We're going to play some music as well. But first of all, welcome. It's good to see all three of you. And Joe, welcome back to your to your radio home. Now, you did a show here for a while, right at the beginning of, uh, of was it the beginning of COVID or yeah, if, for, yeah, yeah, for about a year. You did, and we got such a great response from that, and we're we're happy to have you on the air this afternoon talking about whatever you want to talk about. To be it was a you, lot of work. Yeah, but, but you know what. Uh, I miss it. I, I I I do appreciate you telling people that it's a lot of work putting a radio show together. Thanks. For yeah. That. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we want to thank you too for giving him a reason to get out of bed during COVID. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> yeah. Human, as a lot of us can attest to. Yeah. Right. It was right. Really depressing. That's yeah. one of his yeah. favorite. Yeah. Uh, everybody, you know, everybody thinks that these people just sit around on a couch and say, "Oh well, here maybe I'll play this." But it takes a lot of work to do a good radio show. It, it really does. I'm, I'm going to tell you that now. And Nick, um, I want to <laughs> interject because we're so thrilled you're here. Thank you for being here to do this. And oh, my pleasure. We just want to thank everybody here at this radio station for all your support. It happens to be our favorite radio station. So everybody, donate, donate. Hey, how about this? Any donations in the next hour, I'll match. You'll match. Oh, my gosh. So let's get going, folks. 833-885-8850. You can do it at thesoulcastsound.org. There's a big uh, big donation from... Up to from... $12. <laughs> <laughs> timing. You, you've got it. Timing is <laughs> timing, everything. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and none of those monthly deals you. either, yeah. too. <laughs> so um, be before we talk about this year's Vets Aid, which is happening in a couple of weeks, November 12th. And by the way, we have a, a fantastic sweepstakes. Everybody who subscribes during this drive is entered into a sweepstakes to go to that show and to sit in your friends and family section, which I presume is at the front. No, it's not at the back. You haven't got the family at the back. Uh, everybody's <laughs> better gonna, not. Yeah. Um, but um, why did why did Vets Aid start? I mean, you you started it because you have a personal connection. Um, you, you're a Gold Star family. Tell us a little bit about how this came about. Yeah, I, I'm. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I, I'm what you call a Gold Star kid. Uh, when I was little, we didn't have that. I was born in 1947, and my father was in the Army Air Force before there was an Air Force. Hmm. And uh, he was a, a flight instructor and uh, a test pilot for the first operational jet. And uh, one day he didn't come back. And I was on Okinawa with my mom. And... Uh, so I came back and it was just too bad back then. There was no support groups or anything. Mm. So I always, my whole life, just wanted to make him proud and wondered what he would be like. So I've been resonant to a lot of the families when dad doesn't come back for, for all this time. And it's always kind of bothered me and a lot of things bothered me. I went to Walter Reed Hospital every time the Eagles played in Washington, D.C. And uh, uh, I went on the, the wing of those of the hospital where people are waiting for their prosthetic limbs. And I didn't know what to say. But by the time I left, we just had a great time, you know, and. And. The other thing is a lot of my Vietnam friends who were buddies from from high school, uh, a lot of them were getting sick because of Agent Orange. Mm. And it just bothers me that the vets come home and they don't get enough help. Until one day I said, I can make a difference here. 
and that's what I've been doing for what yeah. seven 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 eight years? years now. He turned to us and said, "Listen, I do one thing really good, and that's rock and roll. So let's just put on a big show and give the money away." And, that was and, seven years ago. and as you said, you've been doing it for seven years now, and, and this year's show. Uh, I mean, you have a great lineup every year, but this year's show, I think, is, I mean, this is, this is for me. I mean, the war on drugs, the flaming lips, Lucius, special guest Stephen Stills, and then headlining uh, yourself and Jeff Lynn's ELO. It's going to be quite a night. Uh, we're going to play some music from some of these artists as we have this conversation. So why don't we talk a little bit about ELO, and then we'll listen to some some ELO. Uh, I'm presuming you've, you've known Jeff Lynn a, a, a minute or two. He's from my hometown of Birmingham, by the way. I don't know if you know that. Ah, yeah. that explains a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Je Jeff's a dear friend. He helped me, and and ended up producing uh, my last album, which was called Analog Man. Right. And we've been we've been really close uh, since then. We were just kind of distant distant friends before that. Rock and Until roll you friends. married me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Until we got married. Yeah. All right. Camelia, his wife, is one of my dearest friends. And uh, Camelia and I thought, you know, Jeff and Joe could cause some damage. And they did. Mm -hmm. And they've yeah. been great pals since then. So November 12th is the show. Um, San Diego, North Island Credit Union Amphitheater. If, if you want to subscribe to this station right now, Joe will match your donation up to $12. Um, <laughs> at, at eight, that's what he said. Dig deep. No, well, <laughs> you send it in, and then I'll decide. Eight, <laughs> case by case basis. You send it in. Eight, we'll figure that out. Eight three three eight eight five eight eight five zero. We'll put you in the sweepstakes as well, which inc which will include uh, sending you down there on the surf liner. Uh, we'll bring you back as well in a night in a hotel. <laughs> um, and we've got some questions that we're going to ask as well. Some some listener questions that have been sent in over the last week. But right. why don't we play a little bit of music, and then we'll come back and we'll jump into the questions. Uh, it's the Walsh Gang in studio. Is that okay? I've just given you that, that new moniker. Yeah, after the James Gang. I don't yeah, think we're as famous. Exactly. But. I don't know. Maybe after this. <laughs> um, we're going to play ELO. And you picked this song, uh, Don't Bring Me Down. Uh, Joe Walsh is our guest. You're listening to the SoCal Sound, Nick Harcourt in the afternoon. Uh, support the station at 833-885-8850. I love the way that ends. Yeah, there you go. It's like, what do they do? Drop the drumstick at the end or close the door or something? It's ELO, Electric Light Orchestra. If you're just tuning in and you're expecting Andy Chanley to be here, well, Andy is here, but I'm sitting in this afternoon for just a little bit of time with my pal Joe Walsh. And Joe is here to talk about Vets Aid 2023, which is happening in uh, just a couple of weeks, November 12th. It's in San Diego this year at the North Island Credit Union Amphitheater. And uh, the artists include Joe, ELO, who we just heard from, as well as the War on Drugs, Flaming Lips, and Lucius. Uh, and I've got the Walsh uh, family in here. Joe is here, Marjorie's here, and Christian is here, who is the executive producer of the show. That's what I just told you. No, it's, it's the truth. It's it the is truth. the truth. Right, right. But, you know, credit, titles, man. credit where credit's due. <laughs> yeah. you know? titles, man. Yeah. Um, so we've been asking our listeners for the last couple of weeks when we knew that you were going to be coming in to submit some questions because you got a lot of fans here. Uh, when you did your radio show here, it just went nuts. Everybody, we had a whole new new audience came in because of you. So thank you for that. And a whole bunch of them have submitted questions. So I've handed the questions over to Marjorie and Christian. They're going to ask them, and uh, and then we're going to see. Well, we'll see what you have to say. Because he can't lie to us. There you go. All right. First question, Joe. You had a great song called Jessica Stone on an unreleased soundtrack called California '99. How is it written, and why haven't you ever added it to any of your own albums? It's fantastic, and your fans deserve to hear it. It had one of the best guitar solos you've ever played. Many thanks for all you've done. You're the best. Your oldest fan, Nick. It's not me. It's another Nick. Oh, <laughs> so, I thought that was you. It's an older, an older <laughs> Nick. I thought we'd start with a deep yeah. cut. Okay, well, uh, I hope I don't get the blah blahs here. Um, Jimmy Haskell was a was an arranger, a very famous arranger uh, in Los Angeles. And on the first James Gang album, he did our producer Bill Simzik a favor and put a whole string orchestra on collage, which was on the first James Gang album. Mm. Uh, much later, 
after a couple more James Gang albums, uh, Jimmy Haskell did a solo album. Bill Simzik produced it. And Bill had a concept for a song called uh, Jessica Stone. Uh, Jessica was the name of his daughter. And so as a, as a payback, I sang and put a guitar part on what turned into Jessica Stone. Hmm. And Jimmy Haskell put a string orchestra all over that. Beautiful. Too. Uh, I don't think it ever came out, but it's it's a gem just sitting there. Huh. This guy knows about it, so that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah, think you'd remember that deep. That's awesome. It's a question I didn't know the answer to, so I yeah. was happy to all ask right. it. I have, I have one here that I know a lot of people are very interested in, considering you're my favorite guitar player, my darling, but who are three of your favorite guitar yes. players and why? Ooh, good question. Who, who asked well, that? Well, there's me. No name on this question. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it'll go on. Go ahead. She's a two-parter. Two-parter. Who are your three favorite and why? Well, uh, it's hard to do in three. There's a guy named Michael Hedges. Uh, Leo Kotke, Les Paul. Cool. There, there's your three. Yeah. What happened to Albert Lee? You loved him. Albert Lee. Well, see, that would be four. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's the top <laughs> okay. four. But yeah. here's her second half, sorry. Back in the day, what are some of the things you threw out the window of a hotel room? Or is that a rock star myth? No. And that happens to be Pat from Northridge. All right. Thank no, you, Pat. That, that's, that's not a myth. Um... Pretty much anything that would fit <laughs> through the window, uh, ranging from televisions uh, to, oh, anything. Pieces of chair. Yeah. Yeah, chairs wouldn't fit, but if you... So you had to break them first yeah. before you could throw them out the window. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. right. Uh, Were I, you throwing those these furniture items at something or away ground, from something? I was throwing the them ground. at the ground. Was there a target? Well, I tell you what, putting the TV in the middle of the swimming pool, 12 yeah, floors down, this, right. that was always a big deal. When, Good shot. Yeah. yeah. It takes talent. Yeah. That's pretty much anything that went out the window. Yeah. You don't yeah. get you don't get enough credit for destroying hotel rooms. I don't think. I think you know Keith Moon gets it all. I mean, it's, well, he learned it from Keith. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He taught me everything I know. <laughs> Just very quickly, guys. Um, uh, we're in a fun drive here as well. You're listening to Joe Walsh uh, and family. We're talking about Vets Aid. We're also answering some questions sent in by our listeners. But listen, we are fundraising here, and it is the final uh, weekday of of the the fun drive. So if you're listening and you're enjoying this conversation with Joe Walsh now, and you're a fan joe has said that in this hour he will match any donations that are coming in I, he said up to 12 dollars, but i think it might be a couple more so if you're thinking about su subscribing do it now because your dollars will be doubled 833-885-8850 833-885-8850 you can do it online as well at the socalsound.org and anybody who subscribes throughout this pledge drive is included in a sweepstakes we're going to send a listener and a friend down to San Diego uh, on November 12th to see Vets Aid this year with ELO, Joe Walsh, uh, The War on Drugs, Flaming Lips, Lucius and special guest uh, Stephen Stills as well so you'll be in that sweepstakes somebody is going to win that back to talking about uh, throwing things out of uh, windows <laughs> yes um and, and anything else do we have a, another question or two that we'd like Christian, to you're get up. in i don't know why this was put on my list because it's gross from annie in glendale my first kiss was with the song hotel california mm. tell us about your first kiss with marjorie Ooh. and then a cat face emoji <laughs> <laughs> maybe you could both answer that question separately will you you want to I love you. I love you too. Uh, here's a good way to sum it up: sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Both of you? Uh, sloppy. No, he was sloppy. He was sloppy. No, but we we, we wanted to kiss each other for thirty years. Yeah, I mean that is the truth. And yeah, but it, it occurred outside of an Italian. We in my car. You had taken me out to dinner at an Italian restaurant on Ventura Boulevard. I don't remember the name of it. Yeah, and. Uh, we had been waiting to do this for about 30 years. So wow. it was one of the most transformational kisses in my life. It was like being in, I don't know, sixth grade. Yeah. <laughs> your yeah. first date. 
That's, you know, where you don't best. know what to do. Yeah. And yeah. you can't talk. And you feel all weird and you don't know what's going on in your body. Yeah. 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 And your yeah. hormones are <laughs> raging. <laughs> And, 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 and you'd, wait, you'd waited 30 years for this because obviously you'd known each other a while and you had to sort of, well, you just had to wait for the right time, I guess. Right? Yeah, well, I, I, was, I was too scary for 20 of those 30 years. Mm. Well, he was also married and I was married and, you know, things like that. Yeah, but, you had to get some, some things ta yeah, taken care of. Out yeah. of the way, but yeah. 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 all right, I have another. Joe had always been around. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think I first met Joe when I was two or three. Yeah, at Tittenhurst. At, yeah, at Tittenhurst. Yeah. And, they just made it work eventually at some point. Yeah. yeah. So it was all in that kiss. That, so thanks for that question. I have a good one for you, Joe. Um, who most inspired you in your younger years as you developed in your career? Timothy Leary? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a good answer, Nick? I, I, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's your show. That, <laughs> that helped a lot. We'll leave it yeah. at that. Okay. Yeah, okay. Christian, you're up. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, how you doing, Joe? I see your birthday is coming up. Your birthday is seven days after mine is. If I may ask, what do you hope or wish to do for your birthday this year? Wishing you a great weekend and good luck with Vets Aid. What, when is Susan. your birthday? November 20th. Okay. So yeah. it's, a, it's a week after the show. Yeah. What, what's, uh, what's your wish? Well, I hope I get something that fits out the window. <laughs> <laughs> well, usually you, he, you like... Joe has Guitars. an incredible guitar collection, yeah. one mm. of probably the biggest in the world. Um, but I don't know if you want it. You no, nah, I don't really want another guitar. So what else? <laughs> he's honey? horrible to shop for, but he he does he is secretly sentimental. Yeah. You know, so maybe I'll knit something. <laughs> Jewelry. You're, li you're listening to the the SoCal Sound. Uh, we're going to get back to questions in a minute, but we got some more music we're going to play as well because we do want to play everybody that's on the bill. So um, yeah. Quick reminder, folks, you're listening to 88.5 The SoCal Sound. Our fun drive is upon us, and I know it's fun to be listening uh, to, to Joe right now and, uh, and Marjorie and Christian, but we also need to try and get a little action going on these phones because it kind of went quiet when you started talking because everybody's just hanging off every word, Joe. That's what it is. Uh, give us a call. Subscribe now at 833-885-8850. The next song we're going to play is by The War on Drugs. So uh, tell us how The how the War on Drugs came into, into your life. I okay, mean, <laughs> well, we, we have a family game night and we usually invite friends over and they can get kind of hostile <laughs> we're a super rock and roll family man <laughs> yeah. we play rummy tiles yeah, and we can, go hard it can, it, can, it can get it can get you know intense rough i'm not a tight shut up yeah. <laughs> stuff like that uh anyway christian plays stuff on spotify a and or off of socal 88.5 yeah, sound radio yeah. good save yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and, and Every once in a while, I'll say, who is that? Who is that? And the third game night, he played the same thing. I said, okay, who is that? Every time I played this song, yeah. he would stop the game. And, and he played it on your show, too. I mean, that yeah. was one yeah. of you. Yeah. And it, it was War on Drugs. And, and the, they're one of the, the most brilliant new kids in town that I've heard in a long time. Yeah. Uh, the song we're going to play is Pain by the War on Drugs. Uh, they're one of, uh, uh, well, there's War on Drugs, Flaming Lips, Lucius, uh, Stephen Stills will be there as well, Joe Walsh and uh, Jeff Lindsay Hello, at Vets Aid this year, happening in San Diego, November 12th. Uh, if you subscribe to the station right now at 833-885-8850 or online at thesoulcountsound.org, uh, we're trying to raise as much money as we can on this last uh, weekday afternoon of the drive. We've got a sweepstakes that is uh, going to be drawn on Sunday night and uh, we will give it to a winner who subscribes during this drive to go see uh, Vets Aid this year with Joe ELO, uh, War on Drugs, Flaming Lips, Lucius and Stephen Stills in San Diego. Uh, we'll hook you up with friends and family tickets at the show. Um, but if you want to buy tickets, they're actually not that much. It's 40 bucks for a ticket. Is that right? 39? That's right. Just yeah. head over to VetsAid.org after you've given to the SoCal Sound. I like and, this uh, guy. 40 bucks each and yeah. all, all proceeds to SoCal veterans. So. All right. <laughs> Sorry. What was that? Joe. You can say that again. There you go. <laughs> Here's the war on drugs.
That's the War on Drugs there. One of the bands playing with Joe Walsh and Jeff Lindsay Hello. Uh, the Flaming Lips will be there as well as Lucius and special guest Stephen Stills at Vetsay 2023 happening in San Diego at the North Island Credit Union Amphitheater. It's November 12th. And Joe is here, the, the, the Walsh gang is, is here. And before we do anything else, seeing as we're still in a pledge drive, um, talk to me a little bit about public radio and why you think uh, people should be calling right now. Okay, well, first of all, I'm going to say that this is our favorite radio station. And come on, guys, don't make us look bad by not calling in and sending in money while we're here. We're begging. We need your dollars. <laughs> we're going to match it. So come on, don't make us look bad. Donate to this station. They need you. We're either going to keep talking until you call or you right. call and we'll shut up. So one, <laughs> yeah. one of those two promises we'll make. Yeah. And if you don't like us, that's okay, too. Yeah. <laughs> Go but, ahead. Send it in. I, I tell you what, this is real radio. It is. To right. me, this is real radio. This is the way radio should be. Right. And, and you guys are a little mecca, a little island in this vast yeah, and it takes commercial money. Commercial radio thing. This was... And you know who you know who picks the records you listen to? Men with ties. It's true. You know? No ties here. No, no ties there's here. There's no yeah. ties. You're not allowed to wear a tie. Right. Let me give the phone number out. Thank you. Eight three three eight eight five eight eight five zero. Or you can go online at the SoCalSound.org. And if you donate now, uh, Joe will match your your donation uh, up until uh, five o'clock, which is about fifteen minutes away. So, if you were thinking when's a good time for me to support the station this now. afternoon, right now at eight three three eight eight five eight eight five zero or the SoCalSound dot org. Uh, so, Joe, we've got some more questions for you, and Marjorie and Christian are here, and they're going to uh, throw out the questions. Okay. Hey, Joe. Thank you for all the great music. This is from Rob in North Hollywood. If hey, life, Rob, how you doing? If Life's Been Good represents an early chapter in your music, an ordinary average guy continued the story in 1991, what title would you envision for the third song in this trilogy, reflecting your perspective on life today? Hmm. Well, Rob, uh, I've already done that, and it's a song called Lucky That Way, and it's on the, uh, the Analog Man album, the last album that I put out. Uh, it is the next in line of those songs, and I'm working on the fourth one as we speak. Right. But Lucky That Way on the Analog Man album. Okay. Joe, I got one here from Tony and Stephanie. So you've embarked on many musical adventures. Is there one band or person you would have liked to have performed with that you have never got the opportunity to do? Thanks for all you do for the vets. My dad was a Marine. That's Tony and Stephanie. Well, I'll tell you the one that, that got away. Uh, I want to say John Lennon, but the, the one that got away that I really wanted to play with was Ray Charles. Mm. I cool. really wanted to play guitar for Ray. Mm. And, what, and what was it about Ray that, that you loved so much? Oh, he was just, I mean, he's just. He was pretty cool. I, I can't describe it. Yeah. American treasure. A unique talent, yeah. He, yeah. Was, he was so great. And his life, if you read his book, his life and and all the, the different chapters in it. And he was just so funky. He was just as pure, spiritually, R and B, mm. as you can get, and I really wanted to play guitar for him, but I didn't make it. You're, right you're listening to 88.5 The SoCal Sound. Uh, Nick Harcourt here with Joe Walsh uh, and family this afternoon. We got about another 13, 14 minutes left, and during those 13 or 14 minutes, if you support the station with a pledge right now at 833-885-8850 or online at thesocalsound.org. Uh, Joe will match it, but you've got to do it in the next 13 minutes. We've got another one that we're going to ask, and then we're going to play a song by the Flaming Lips. Okay. Okay. Um, this is from Greg Fiore. I hey, rem- Greg, how are you doing? I remember watching a terrific slide guitar tutorial video you made a few years back. Who taught you to play guitar and or slide guitar? Well, I guess who taught me to play guitar is all the all the guys that went before me. What we you're do, self-taught, right? 
Yeah, self-taught. But I mean, I, I steal licks from from everybody. Mm. Uh, Dwayne Allman, uh, James Gang was playing with the Allman Brothers, and I humbly went up to Dwayne and asked him how to play slide guitar, and he showed me the tuning, and he gave me a slide, nice. which is a, a Corsidan bottle. It's an old medicine. They threw the medicine away, but it was the perfect size for your finger. So Dwayne Allman uh, showed me how to play slide. Right. Cool. Right. Chris, I got one one that I want to know the answer to too. Uh, hey Joe, are you still working on your autobiography? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I touchy, am. You know, touchy I, subject. I I am, and I put it away for a while. It's it's a lot harder than I ever dreamed. Uh, I've got from being born up to the day I got off the train in Kent, Ohio. Uh, for my first year of college, I've got all of that done, and I have to, I have to get back. <laughs> There's on a it. lot more. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah, Ooh, well, we got a long way to go. And that's 800 pages. <laughs> yeah. So, so we're going to play some music right now from the Flaming Lips, who are also performing at, at Vets Aid. How how did the Flaming Lips end up on the bill? They were one of those bands that we listened to all the time, especially during COVID. Yeah, and in then the middle of a fight at game night right <laughs> and then right. i started playing because i'd seen the lips for 20 years now sure. over 20 years and i started playing clips from their live shows because their live shows are some of the most incredible They're spectacles nuts. i've yeah. ever seen They're yeah great. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a visual experience yeah not just a band so we watched them on you know on uh, the big screen and we thought everybody could use a little bit of that joy this year well i love the song that you've picked it's the flaming lips do you realize we'll come back and wrap up we've got a song from lucius that we're going to play as well we're with joe walsh uh, marjorie and christian are here as well we're talking about vets aid which is happening november 12th there are tickets available but if you want to subscribe to the station right now at 833-885-8850 we'll put you in a sweepstakes for a pair of tickets in the friends and family section of that gig uh, Joe's friends and family section and we'll take you down there we'll put you in a hotel for the night as well subscribe at 833-885-8850 and if you do it in the next 10 minutes Joe will match your pledge here's the Flaming Lips I love the Flaming Lips. Uh, you know, many moons ago at Halloween, I was at a show in uh, in New York City where the Flaming Lips were playing, and they were actually opening for Beck, and they were also his backing band uh, for a Very tour. Cool. And uh, it was a Halloween show, and uh, I, I managed to get up on stage in a Cookie Monster outfit. And, That's uh, right. You did? Yeah. Do you yeah. still have it? I and can see that. It was there. It was theirs. They oh, used to oh, sort of have... Did have anybody the, take a bite out of outfits. you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the funniest thing about it was that, was that we had these huge torches flashlights like you know like x-files flashlights and yeah. we're supposed to be waving them around and i got like two minutes into it and i was like i'm not going to manage this for you know 45 minutes <laughs> and, and, and then all of a sh all of a sudden the show was over it was over yeah because yeah. it was just amazing just anyway good. flaming lips are going to be performing along with war on drugs lucius uh, we're going to play some music from them in a minute and stephen stills along with joe walsh and jeff Lynn's elo at vets aid 23 happening in san diego this year at the north island credit union amphitheater you can buy tickets from 40 dollars they're available now show is november 12th and uh we've also got a sweepstakes we've been running throughout our pledge drive here uh which includes transportation down there a night in a hotel and great tickets in joe's friends and family section if you subscribe on the station right now uh for, for the pledge drive 833-885-8850 will put you in that sweepstakes and Joe will actually match your donation right now. You've got about five minutes left in which to do that. We have a couple more questions we're going to get to before we bounce and give Andy his show back. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, come on, guys. Buy tickets for VetsAid, www.vetsaid.org. Come and hang out with us down in San Diego on November 12th. Joey, last time I saw you with the James Gang was in 1971 with War and Edgar Winter's White Trash in Long Beach Auditorium. Will you ever do a tour with the James Gang again and do the old tunes? That's from Lawrence R. Movera. Uh, you know, last year <laughs> at Vets Aid, the James Gang performed. And uh, we did good. You did really good. Yeah. You did also, way better you performed than at we Wembley. thought you would. Yeah. Didn't yeah. they perform yeah. at Wembley for Taylor Hawkins Yeah, they reunited well. for a Taylor right. Hawkins yeah. Yeah. memorial concert. And so uh, we could still do it. And boy, that's tempting. Yeah. That's tempting. The the assisted living James Gang tour. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm gonna tell Come you, dude. On. Last year, 
<laughs> last year's vet aid was I, I'm <clears throat> impartial was was the, one of the coolest nights in my life because Joe reunited the James Gang. We did it in Ohio. Yeah, it was very uh, cool. Trent yeah, Reznor brought Nine Inch Nails, uh, and he told us on stage that Joe was the first concert he'd ever been to. Wow. Uh, Dave Grohl was our special guest. It was incredible. You know, and, and and James Gang was one of Taylor's favorite bands, so we all paid homage to him. It was it a was, love fest. It was incredible. So it's it's possible there might be another yeah. James Gang oh, show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Or, and, and or ten. God knows who else is going to show up. Yeah. You know where are you going to where are you going to see that bill? For San Diego. Yeah. For for 45 bucks. 40. 40. 39.50. 40. 40. <laughs> Jeff yeah. Lindsay Illo, Joe Walsh, special guest Stephen Stills, The War on Drugs, Flaming Lips, and Lucius. We're going to wrap this up, guys, with Lucius. Time for one more question. Christian. Yes. Uh, my, I, two of the same questions here. They, they're all about who would you like to collaborate with. And I was going to say, we usually try and match you up with people you'd love to see at Vets Aid shows. So who would you like to invite to future Vets Aids or who would you like to play with? Yeah, throw it out there. See what we can get Let's next see what year. We can get, yeah. Who? <laughs> 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 Where are we? <laughs> Anybody? Who uh, would you like to play with that you haven't played with yet? Put him on the spot. Uh, boy, I don't know how to answer that one. Well, I'll go. I know who. I know. Come on, babe. We, you know who. Well, he's who do about you love? to. He's about to do something with Saint Vincent, right? So that will be really cool. But you know who you mm. love, Brittany Howard. Oh, I mean, yeah. yeah, you want to. There get, you go. Yeah, that's yeah. your girl. Yeah. He wrote his aunt. What did he say on there, Chris? You wrote Brittany Howard. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. We love. We we're, love. We're Brittany. working on that. Yeah. So. We love her. She was. Uh, I think she was the last uh, live session we had on the morning show before we got shut down three or four years ago. Whenever that COVID thing oh, was, well, I oh. lost yeah. track of time. It's the COVID fog. Um, it's so cool to have you guys hanging out in the studio, Joe. Sorry, we're hard to wrangle. Marjorie. <laughs> Thank and, you. And, and, and Christian. Um, we're going to go out with a Lucius song. And uh, yeah, Lucius, how'd they, how'd they end up on the bill? Lucius, uh, they work a lot with War on Drugs. And oh, there goes Joe's soundboard. Right. See? He, he, keeps, he toys, keeps getting toys, new toys. iPads because toys. we keep taking them away from him. Yeah. Um, Lucius, uh, they've worked with War on Drugs forever. Uh, they've worked with some other friends of ours. Cheryl Crow. They, and Cheryl we, Crow. Yeah, that's how we and were first introduced their voice to them. Forever. And, uh, They're phenomenal. We asked and they said yes. So we were, we're just grateful. grateful. So visit the, the Vets Aid uh, website. It's, uh, well, you can do it at joewalsh.com, right? Just go, go yeah. through uh, joewalsh.com. www.vetsaid. Joewalsh.com or vetsaid.org. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to wrap it up with Lucius. And if you would like to subscribe to this radio station that counts Joe Walsh as a member, uh, hit us up now, 833-885-8850, thesocalsound.org, and uh, grab something from the station, get in on the sweepstakes, and Joe will double your donation. If you do it now, in the next minute, as we go back to music, Lucius, and then a station ID, and then Andy will be here. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for hanging thank out. Thank you for having us, thank Nick. You. And thank, thank you, you, Andy, and sorry, Andy. Yes, thank you, and thank you. And thank you, everybody. Thank you, Nick. We're yes. grateful to be here. Lucius. Let's do it again.